Well, hey guys, this is part two. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with Ephesians 2, 9. First, I declare, you know, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he came to the earth as a man in the flesh. He bled and died on our, the cross for us, and he rose on the third day. And he's the Son of God, and he was born of a virgin for all the other naysayers out there. <laughs> um, okay, so it starts with Ephesians 2, 9, and ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're just trying to scam you. Not of works, lest anyone should boast. See, salvation's a free gift. No one can boast about it. Okay, the little message. Loss of power is coming. My child, there will be lots of adages all over the world. And then soon it will be a worldwide blackout and EMP will follow. Darkness will fall. Obama will rise. Keep looking. Remember when the nukes go up, you go up. My real calendar date will be revealed soon. You will hear the trumpet. Redemption draws nigh. Look up. Colossians 1.11, strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. John 2.7, Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water and they filled them up to the brim. 1 John 3.8, he who sins is of the devil for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. John 4, 5, so he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim that the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Jonah 2, 5, the waters surrounded me even to my soul. The deep closed around me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. Hosea 4, 3. Therefore the land will mourn and everyone who dwells there will waste away with the beasts of the field and the birds of the air. Even the fish of the sea will be taken away. Okay, guys. You know, um, God has given so many warnings now. I mean, I can't even keep track how many I have printed out. Every single message he's given me now. And um, I plan on leaving it for the people left behind. Um, because I know in my heart that the Lord is going to get us. He's going to take his bride. He's told me in almost every single message. And, um, you know, I know my relationship with Jesus. And, you know, I live for Jesus. I love him. And, um... He wants that relationship with everybody. He just wants his kids to believe. I mean, man, when I know, you know, spirit filled Christians out there, I know you guys are feeling this tug in your heart. Like he's just trying to pull you in and, you know, the anxiety tug is not from him. You know, the anxiety and the stress and stuff that's, that's from the enemy, but that, peaceful tug that you feel where he's trying to like grab you and pull you in that's God and he's trying to wake you up because time is short and I don't know the time but you know I know a lot's coming and so much is coming true I mean even just just this week you know the farm blew up like he said um you know he gave me that message and a few days later it happened I think it was like April 6th, he said the farms, they're going to go and tack the farms. And then a huge, huge, um, I think 18,000 cows got blown up in Texas. Um, he, and then he told me oil's next. And then he told me March 28th that there was going to be Wisconsin fires. He said, um, Wisconsin will see fire. They will need water. And apparently they've had a ton of fires lately. He told me the New England church would be, I was just at dinner and he was, I heard New England church on fire, New England church on fire. I told my best friend, I was like, what in the world? I just hear these random things. Um, you know, so I feel like God gives me random things sometimes because um, his people are praying to him and they're asking for signs, you know, whether or not to listen to me or, um, other prophets or messengers you know you always take everything to the holy spirit because there's a lot of deception out there there's a lot of false prophets and you know god 
luckily I, I listen to the spirit and he lets me know who's true and who's false. But, you know, I just, I don't call anyone out because I don't feel that's right. You know, you have to look at the speck in your own eye before you look at the speck in your neighbor's eye. And God doesn't want us to publicly shame someone on a forum. If you have something to say and you think that person's being deceived, then you, you ask them in a message you know, with gentle love and correction, um, not, you know, privately, not scoffing people. But guys, I mean, everything he's saying is coming true. I mean, even the green, I saw a video today how there's like another green comet or something coming. And then, you know, he told me meteorites falling. And then I found out that like, there's supposed to be like a meteorite shower. And he, guys, he's told me all this in advance before it's even, like, been on the news or anything. And, like I said, I don't have time to watch videos. People tag me and stuff so much, and I'll be honest, like, I, I can't watch them all. I'll, like, look at them for a second, and then I have to move on. Um, honestly, I don't want to confuse my brain. I mean, I like confirmation. So, like, if you've heard me say something and... um it confirms it just when you send me the video just send me that little message hey you know the Wisconsin fires here you go it came true that way I can keep it in my notes and stuff for the people who like need dates and everything because we're trying the whole point is to share the gospel we're trying to wake people up and when when people who are not believing in Jesus and then they see that the words are coming true it might change their mind you know, it's just like all those people who didn't believe that there'd be a rapture or anything like that. When it finally happens and he takes his bride, those people that you have been witnessing to are going to remember. And they're going to be saved because they're going to come to Jesus and they're going to die for his glory. You know, I mean, why, why die for his glory when you can make the rapture? You know, you just believe in him with all your heart and it's your faith. And it's a free gift. There's, can't boast about salvation. And, um, you know, sometimes it's exhausting because there's just so many people that don't believe. And it's just hard. It's just really hard, especially when you know loved ones that you try to wake them up and they just, they refuse to listen. And here's what I think. You just have to keep witnessing. Even though they think you're nuts or crazy, you just have to keep witnessing because that one person you witness to, they may be saved and then they might witness to another 10 people and then another 10 people may witness to 25 people and 25 people to 1,000 people. So the numbers grow. So just have a lot of faith and just be bold and speak out for Jesus. Because what does he say? He says, you know, if you deny me here on earth, I'll deny you here in heaven or, you know, to the Father. I don't have scriptures memorized, but um, I, I do the best I can and I ask Jesus for everything. So, But anyway, I hope, you know, this is encouraging for you because I do know he's going to get his bride. I believe that 100% of my heart. And, um, he's, he's told me and a lot of his messages are coming true. So if you're one of those people on the fence and you're just not believing, ask Jesus, ask Jesus for a sign. You know, I mean, he told, um, Cassie faith over fear that the only sign he's going to get is the Jonah sign. So, you know, Pharisees always ask for signs too, and they were never satisfied. So don't be like the Pharisees. The spirit of religion is bad. Don't mock your neighbor. Don't scoff at your neighbor. Love your neighbor. And we all fall short from his glory. And no one is perfect by all means. You know, no one's perfect. So just believe in Jesus. He loves you. All right, guys. Have a good night.